Hi everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope your families are doing fantastic. Uh, we hope 2022 was a great year for you and we're praying that 2023 is even more amazing. Um, wanted to make a quick end of the year update and also share a little bit of our vision for 2023 with the river. Uh, so here we go, as you know, most of you know, uh, we've been co-pastoring a small local church with our good friends, uh, Junior and Lissandra Villa, a True Vine Church here in the area for the past two and a half years. And we've had some great things happen this past year. So we saw 37 people come to know the Lord this year. Um, nine people were water baptized, and we were excited to see our weekly attendance double over the past 12 months. So that was super exciting. Another amazing thing that happened this year is the storefront right next to our storefront became available. And it was between us and one other tenant in our shopping center. And the landlord gave it to us and we converted that next door space into our entire kids ministry center. And also it's going to serve as an area for our office and our counseling uh, space. And so that what that enabled us to do was expand our current sanctuary. So we enlarged our sanctuary and then bumped our kids ministry over to the next door area and office and counseling. So that's super awesome. Um, back in October, we went on a really fun, awesome, productive, blessed missions trip down to Fort Myers, Florida. People all around the country went down there with Samaritan's Purse, and we just served people who were affected by the devastation from Hurricane Ian. Um, we were just cleaning up from all the debris and the mold and the sheetrock and the leaking roofs and everything else that you've heard on the news. We were down there just hands-on doing work inside, outside, and it was super amazing. My dad, who's 87 years old, came down from New Jersey and went with us on the trip, and also two of our middle sons, Silas and Isaac, um, went with us on the trip as well. So that was just a really amazing experience. It was really sad to see the devastation, but it was incredible just to be working with other Christians and just be able to bless people, pray with people. There was even a guy there who was on vacation, heard about what was happening with Samaritan's Purse, decided to serve, and then he ended up getting saved on the job site with us one day. So that was super incredible. Um, and then lastly this year, a big highlight was that I finished my third book called Anchor of Hope. And that was a book I've been working on for a while now, and basically it's going to cover all the major promises of God throughout the Bible. And so that's that's finished now. What I need to do now is just final editing, cover design, and then it will be ready to go on to Amazon. So we're really excited about that. Um, looking forward into 2023, we are looking forward to continue to help pastor this local church and see continued um, spiritual and numerical growth with the church body. Um, one thing I'm dreaming about is renting a local 10 by 10 room and maybe a shared space with a real estate firm or a law firm or just somewhere that has a 10 by 10 room that I could use. And what I'm hoping is to use that room for prayer, for writing books, preparing sermons, um, conducting counseling and discipleship, and also to record uh, Bible teaching videos like this. So that's sort of a dream I've been having for a while now, just to be able to get out of the home office and just have a space where I can go. It's a little more private, fewer distractions, things like that. Um, also dreaming about, again, getting back out there to preach and teach at other churches occasionally, and also just feeling the Lord leading me to begin to really pray for people in those churches for salvation, for healing, and freedom from addictions, just to see people really move forward in their walk with God, to see addictions and bondages break off of people, and see people just really moving forward in freedom and excitement into their destiny and what God has called them to do. Um, and then the last few things, I'd like to add some additional members to our board of trustees. We've had uh, some great people on the board, but it's only been a few people for several years. I'd love to add a few more awesome, amazing people that can dream with us and run with us into the future. Um, also, you may have heard me talk over the years about a retreat house as a part of our vision for the river. And we really feel like it's time to see some major strides in that direction. Um, again, we want this home to be a place where pastors, missionaries, young adults can come. Also, maybe women's retreats, men's retreats, things of that nature. So we're just excited to see that happen. And then, you know, if we don't actually see the house become our possession this year, at the very least, we'd like to start receiving donations uh, towards the purchase slash renovation of that house. Uh, and then lastly, I'd love to work on and finish another book this year. My goal and my vision and my dream is to finish one book a year for the next few years or several years and just really start to make that a yearly thing. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's, again, I just wanted to share a quick update on what's been, ha what's been happening and also what we think the Lord wants us to do in 2023. We love you. We're excited to, for this next year, for both you and for us and for just the Christian body in general and the world. We believe God has amazing things in store for his people. Uh, please stay in touch as how we can specifically pray for you. Um, again, if you'd like to make an end of the year possible donation towards all of these things that we're believing for, you can visit our website 
uh, theriverva.org forward slash donate is the donate page of the website. All the instructions on how to give are on that page. Uh, if you have any questions, please just message me or comment on the video. Um, again, stay in touch. Let us know how we can be praying for you. We'd love to see some of you in 2023 as we travel. Um, God bless you. May God just really shine upon you and do above and beyond what you're believing for in 2023. We just pray for your family, your health, your strength, your finances, that God will just blow your socks off, do amazing things, and propel you forward into your destiny in 2023. So have a great year, and we look forward to hearing what God does in your lives. Have a great day.